Hey all, it's Michael Harrington here. I just want to give you a quick demo on how to make a bridge page. Um, what this will do will help stop Facebook blocking your domain. Because uh, what's happening now is you're trying to send your domain for AdCopy Pro to people in direct messenger or trying to post it on a link somewhere. And basically Facebook is stopping it. Um, so what I'll do, or what I've got actually done is uh, set up a bridge page and uh, so far so good it's getting through Facebook I've been able to send it directly to people I'm having no issues so uh, if you don't know what a bridge page is here's an example so there you go that's the one I made it took me I don't know 10 15 minutes to do um, so what happens is I send that link up there to people um, you can actually uh, use a, a domain and mask it to that URL or you can send that URL direct whatever you want and when people click here they go to my ad copy pro website so quite easy to build uh, what you need to do is get a free wix account wix.com so if you head there you will uh, eventually get into this page here um, so if you join for free it doesn't cost you anything and uh, once you go through it you'll be able to get to this page here where you can see all the templates so you've got most popular blank templates business online store photography uh, and so on so on um, now where I got mine from I went to the photography travel and documentary but like I said you can grab any template you want it's entirely up to you and what I did I grabbed where is I think it was on page two I just found this would be a nice blank easy one to start with that particular one there so when you get to this one you then click on uh, view or edit or view and then you click on edit for some reason when I click on edit from here uh, it doesn't tend to work you might find it differently so I've got to click on view and then edit and then I get in there and actually uh, I can change that website so I've prepared it a little bit earlier because it does actually take a bit of time when you click on edit it takes a minute or so for this web page to come up so once you're in here you can then change this this actual setting through here so what you want to do first is change the background um, that's a pretty dismal background it doesn't hype anyone up or anything like that so if you have a look at mine uh, where am I there we go I've got like a luxury mansion in the background so you want to put something like that in the background so that that's simply uh, yeah just go Google images type in luxury mansion or wealth or waterfalls or something nice and and uh, go into images and click on the bitmap files and, and get yourself a really nice high definition photo okay so back to here what you want to do is change the background so straight away you click on background and like I said this is quite easy once you get into it and you want a, a new background image and you can either use one that you've chose before or you can upload a new one so this is if you click on upload here you would then upload that photo that you found on Google images of the, the waterfall or, or whatever the case may be not Donald Trump <laughs> don't worry about some of these photos these are some CPA offers that I was running recently um, but for example you know, we can choose one of those and just go change background and away you go so there you go there's your background okay now we want to get some text in there and, and you can type in whatever you want um, you know I've put in here let me show you exactly how to generate a constant flow of $25 to $125 payments direct to your PayPal account uh, no previous experience required but I'm not going to go into full details how to do everything here because um, I'm time limited with this video but uh, this is basically how you would do it so you just click on the add button and eventually it will come up here we go so you want to do oh, I've lost it try again okay so we want to do a heading Close that. Close that, and that should let me do it now. For some reason, what's going on here? Oh, sorry about this. I'll try again. Okay, so you want to do heading? Here we go. Okay, so there we go. Sorry about that. And from here, you can do whatever you want with this box. You can move it around. You know you can place it here um, you can edit the text you can make the box larger so say for example we just want to edit text 
and we can change the font size, make it smaller, make it bold, and we just click on there and we can just backspace there and like I said, I'm not going to make this nice and fancy right now, I'm just going to give you a demo how to do it and then you can play around a bit. And I could say, uh, make 25 to 125 dollar payments here. Okay, and it's like any text editor, so you can then um, change the format, make it sort of in the middle there. Um, you can put an underline if you wanted. Oop, I think you've got to actually highlight it for the underline. It's like any text editor, and change the colour. Okay, for now I'll just leave it black, just for the sake of it. Let's get that out of the way, and you can move it around. So say I, I, I could pop it there, for example. Okay. And, and once again, with, when you edit the text, you can actually scroll down over here and change the effect, so you can put a bit of a shadow in the background, um, or whatever you want, if you want to do something like that. Okay. So that's just a quick demo of what you do there for the writing and you can add another uh, bit of text up here if you like as, as you can see what I've done with mine okay then you want a button so you want a button for people to click so quite simply you would then go to here add and when it eventually comes up we'll be able to add a button so just scroll here to button and you can choose whatever sort of button you want so let's say we'll just use that one for now the view more button and once again you just put it down to where you want just change the size just simply drag it across you can change the text so you just basically edit it here and you might just write click here for system or something along those lines and you want to add a link so when they click there you want it to go somewhere so you've got to click on here to add a link and you want it to go to a web address and you want it to go to the current window you don't want to open up another window because it'll make it look like a pop-up and people will close it down so you want it to go into the current window okay so you want to put a URL there so you've got to go to your Ad Copy Pro website and grab your it depends on what what page you're using. I use the video sales page. Um, entirely up to you. Obviously, grab your link. If you want to use the capture page, you're welcome to. So you copy, and we want to go back to Wix. Put the link in here. Copy, paste. Done. And just close it. So there you go. So that's now there. So that's basically all there is to it. So all you've got to do then, or you can preview it. And there's the website, ready to go. They click on that. If you look down the bottom down here, you'll actually see the URL for when people click on the system here. And that will take them to my website. So uh, we'll just go back to the editor. And to simply get a URL for it, all you then is click on publish and you can call it whatever you like. Um, so for the purpose of this one, we'll call it add copy pro test. And you just save and continue. And that should be done. There we go, saving. So there's our website there. Uh, well, let me copy it. Okay, we'll just click on done for now. There we go. So I can now copy that link. If I go up here and paste it in. All going well, the website will, will come up. Sorry about my computer going so slow at the moment. The kids are playing the Xbox at the moment. They're playing games and, and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, it tends to slow the internet down. 
but there you go slowly but surely that website's coming up it'll get there the background will come up eventually but yeah so what you can do you can actually send that URL up the top there to um, your contacts and simply they click on click here for system and that'll go down to the URL that you'll see pop up down the bottom there which will be your website now another thing to, to, to actually shorten that down if you want is to use a link breaker or a domain so you could actually go to godaddy.com for example and get a domain excuse me and then forward that URL um, from the domain or you can shorten it down I like to use something called link breaker so this is another trick to get Facebook off your back so you just go to linkbreaker.com um, I believe you can actually sign up with these guys and there's different features but you can actually just go linkbreaker.com cost you nothing put in your URL and you'll get a short URL so um, that'll come up what I might do is just close these down here just to speed my computer up a little bit so sorry about this bear with me um, hopefully that'll come up but yeah linkbreaker.com um, if it doesn't come up all you've got to do is put your URL in there hit the arrow and it'll give you a shortened URL and then you can just give that to anyone on Facebook um, and you can post your link and things like that I, I personally don't post my links on Facebook never have never will um, I always give teaser posts social proof and wait for people to come back to me um, I never just blatantly post links but I'm sure that um, uh, we'll, we'll do some training on that soon anyway um, in case you're not really aware of it so why isn't this coming up let's uh, have a look uh, there we go so you simply paste your URL there click on the arrow and we get a magic little link breaker URL so copy paste that one store it somewhere someone asks for your link give them that link there and and that'll get them to your page so if I was to post it up here now hopefully it won't take too long but you'll see that it will go to my website and, and that's it um, you do that like I said it only takes five minutes or so um, you can play around with it do all different graphics you can change the text you can change the button um, I'll just give you a quick demo on what you've got to do link it to your ad copy pro website and um, yeah then you can post it on Facebook so when someone asks you for a link you can give them straight away your Wix site you can shorten the URL to this link breaker URL shortener give them that link there or if you want a domain set up a domain forward it to your Wix website um, a domain will cost you anywhere from two dollars for the first year to fifteen dollars per year depends on where you go um, I think I got my domain for $1.99 uh, US and that'll that'll pay for the first year then it goes to twelve dollars a year or, or something like that um, anyway this is taking a while to come up for some reason obviously because the kids on the net and probably also because I'm recording the screen but uh, that'll give you an idea what to do any questions leave them under this post I'm about to post this in the group now so hopefully this will be there uh, post your team and that will solve people's questions when they say oh my domain isn't working I can't give it to anyone so um, yeah anyone can do this takes a few minutes uh, I think Weebly is another option that you can use I haven't really used Weebly but Weebly.com I believe you can do the same thing um, but yeah this is nice and easy it's free takes a few minutes and away you go okay any questions leave them under this video but hopefully that helps you guys and I will see you all soon